kind of blacked out, to be honest with you, and I was just kind of going crazy. And uh, it was, like I said, it was probably the best game I've ever had and one of the best moments of my life. Yeah, we love it, man. We love it. We kind of take it a little serious, and uh, there's some arguments, and there's been some fights in the past because of it, but uh, like I said, we just, we just love competing. I was actually working on laying on the ground, popping to a knee and throwing it first. And they were like, dude, you look like such a <laughs> Like, you look so <laughs> bad. Like, what are you doing, man? Sit right here. I think. Oh, me here, you there? Okay, cool. So you guys just have to tell me when we're ready to roll. This is how you know it's big time. Oh yeah. <laughs> Order. No, now Renato. Welcome to Baseball Stories. Oh, yeah. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thanks man. for having me. Well, I got a confession to make. If I were going to make a list of the players that I would most want to pay to watch, you would be right at the top yeah. of that list. Fought off, Nolan, oh diving on catch. What a play by Nolan. Throwing a little more gold glove defense in case you hadn't <laughs> figured out who was going to win the gold glove at third. We offer you that piece of evidence. You're just so much fun to watch. And one of the reasons that you're so much fun is you don't just get dirty, you get bloody. Yeah. Right? And <laughs> yeah. I, I got a picture I'm going to show you. We're going to put it up on a full screen yeah. for people at home. but. I want you to tell me, what, what, what's going on here? Yeah. Well, obviously, <laughs> probably the best day of my life, first yeah. off. Um, you know, just a crazy moment. Um, to be honest, I wish I wasn't bleeding because my head hurt after everything. You know, once the <laughs> adrenaline calmed down by the end of the night, um, that was, you could thank Charlie for that. That was his helmet bill, just oh, drilling really? me in the head. Yeah, so nice uh, we were dogpiling and it was all Charlie. So he actually de deserves the credit for that one. Right, so this was your cycle? Yes, yes. Cycle was. with a walk off home. High fly ball, deep left field. Way back. Oh, the Rockies win. Oh, and by the way, that's a cycle. He just went cargo. Walk off cycle. Something like five guides in the history of baseball huh. have done. I didn't know that, but that's pretty awesome, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> awesome. And um, you didn't survive the celebration that well? <laughs> um, I mean, I did, and when it hit me, I didn't uh -huh. notice I was bleeding until uh, the yeah. Hoffman told me, like, dude, you're bleeding, and then I was like, really? And then I touched and it was, but <laughs> it was just such a surreal moment. I kind of blacked out, to be honest with you, and I was just kind of going crazy, and uh, it was, like I said, it was probably the best game I've ever had and one of the best moments of my life. Yeah, so, so you think that blood is overrated at times? <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I guess, you know, I... I, like I said, I wish I wasn't bleeding. I mean, I made the picture look really cool, so I guess that's all right. Yeah. yeah, and you had a teammate that actually painted a, a, a picture of this, right? Yeah, yeah, Brandon Barnes made a picture for me. He painted it with for spray cans, and uh, he did a great job, and he's wow. a good friend, and uh, yeah, it's hanging up uh, back home, and uh, <laughs> it was really nice of him. Wow, that, that's, that, that's really cool. Well, I think that the reason that um, I would put you at the top of my list is because of no, I mean, look, I, I know you're a great offensive player, but yeah. to watch you play defense is, uh, is so much fun because of the plays you make and the way you make them. Ground ball hit to third, knocked down by Arenado, stands up, oh, recovers, wow. throws to first in time. What a play by the best defensive player <laughs> in Major League Baseball. What a play by Nolan Arenado. Do people always talk to you about their favorite plays that you make? Um, you know, yeah, I've heard I've heard some. You know, uh, it, it's a it's a good feeling. You know, it's uh, you know I work extremely hard on my defense, so to see people appreciate it, that means a lot to me. And uh, I, I'm going to continue to work hard at it because uh, one, I don't want to lose that gold glove. Um, <laughs> uh, two, I want I got to help my team win as much as I can. And uh, actually, team would probably be number one. Two would be the gold glove. But uh, you know what, man, I, I take a lot of pride in defense. You know, I, I want to be a complete baseball player. That's always been my goal. You know, I don't want to be a liability on one side of the ball or something. So I'm happy. You know, I, lately I've been able to, you know, compete on both sides. Nolan drives it deep left field. Take a good look. You won't see it for long. Home run, number 34. You know, I was talking to Matt Carpenter of the Cardinals about you one time, and he's a big fan of yours. And he told me that he went out early one day, and he saw you practicing 
your web gems. Now, is this true? Yeah, you know. It uh, is. You know, I, I, Matt's a great guy. I like Matt a lot. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I was, you know, I work on every play. I do. I work on the backhands, the Derek Jeter backhand throw, the too low spin throw. I work on all that, you know, because I, in the game, I just don't want to be surprised. That is fair. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. That's kind of my whole thing is that if you work on it and do all these plays, that when the game starts, it just becomes natural. And a beautiful butt by Puig. Throw to first. Going to get him. What a play by Arenado. Cannot tell you how good a play that was because Puig also can really move. And that's kind of like my whole key is that to make sure it all becomes natural. And, uh, you know, I don't want to be surprised by anything. Yeah, well, you know, preparation is really the key to anything Absolutely. in life. But in this case, I, I think it's more than preparation. It takes imagination. Don't you have to imagine that these plays could actually happen before you practice? Absolutely. You know, I always think about it. You know, I'm, I'm just like any kid, you know. I'm over there, <laughs> okay, I got to make this backhand play to win the game in the ninth, man on third. You know, I always mess around, try to trick my mind and get my mind racing and try to get my mind thinking. And, uh, you know, it's always good to think about stuff like that, you know. And, like, it's just like when I'm hitting, you know. Two outs, bottom of the ninth, I'm going to drive a run in here. And, you know, I do that in batting practice. I think about those things. And I did, man, defense, I think about it all the time. Down the line, Nolan, great play. Can he get it out? You bet what a play. I read someplace that even when you were really young, you used to practice crazy plays. Now, is that true, too? Yeah, yeah, it is. You know, we <laughs> diving and uh, we do, you know, toss it in the pool and we dive in the pool and make a play <laughs> or on the bed and stuff like that. Hard down the line. Can he throw him out, Arenado? You gotta be kidding me! How good was that? You might as well just go ahead and give him the gold glove right now in April. I'll tell you a story. Um, I was at my old high school, or my high school El Toro in the off season one year, and I was with my brother and a couple couple friends, and cousin, my cousin, and you know, I was actually working on laying on the ground, popping to a knee and throwing to first. Which you do really well. Which I've done before, <laughs> but I was working on it, and they were like, dude, you look like such a like, you look so <laughs> bad. Like, what are you doing, man? And uh, it was pretty funny, and I was doing it, and I'm like, well, I don't know. I got to work on it because it might happen in the game. And then it happened, and then I made sure I let him know, like, see, this is why I work on those things. This ball's ripped. Oh, what a play by Nolan. And there's some arm strength for you because he didn't have a chance. It was hit so hard that he knew I've got to throw it from my knees. Oh, oh my goodness, oh. did he catch that? What an oh. unbelievable catch, and Arenado's okay. Yeah, that was, like I said, I think that was another blackout play where I just didn't think and I just wanted it to happen. That's fair, Nolan's got it. Who does that from his knees with velocity? Unbelievable. I'd actually like to ask you about some of these signature plays that you make. Well, let's talk about them, all right? You talked about the, the, the Jeter jump throw. Now, that's a play where you know, it's usually a ball into foul territory. Yeah. You, or you've got or down the line. You've got to go into foul territory, backhand, and then make the jump throw. This is on the ground, and Nolan, is he going to make this play? Of course he is. Oh, oh you got to be kidding me. Simply the best. Yeah, exactly. You know, I, I've had different plays where I've had to do that. And uh, like I said, just don't want to be surprised. And uh, it's not an easy play, to be honest with you. Um, Derek Jeter and Tulo used to do it really well. And, uh, you know, I work on it, and it doesn't work a lot of times, but I've done it in the games where I've been able to have success. But it's not easy. You know, I've also had plays where I've done it, and I've missed. And, you know, they obviously don't show that one because it's an error, <laughs> thank God. Um, but, uh, you know, those are the plays i got to work on. Those are all the little things, you know, um, that I have to try to find a way to get better and help the team win. What a play by the best defensive player in Major League Baseball. And you mentioned the Tulo spin. Then when you came up, you were, pra you were playing next to Troy Tulo Whiskey. Yeah. I gu I'm guessing that's where you got that one. Yeah, absolutely. You know, watching Tulo, man, he takes so much pride in defense, and that's kind of where I got it from. Right, ground ball deep short. Tulo. Never get tired of watching no, that don't. play. But you know what that is? That's routine. Pretty easy game if you're Troy Tulo Whiskey, isn't it? He's the one that told me, he used to tell me every day, like, you need to take more pride in your defense because... You know, he, like he wants, he's like, you want to be a complete baseball player. You don't want to be a hinder on any side of the ball. So, you know, I really took that to heart, and it is the truth, and uh, I really appreciate that advice. Round ball toward Nolan, diving stop, get up, throw out. Another one that I'm kind of amazed by, I don't know that people, people talk to you about it much, but you're, heading, you're going to your left towards short, 
but you still bare hand the ball. I mean, that's a really difficult play to make. Nolan with his bare Nolan. hand, cut it out. Oh. Who does that? Nolan, who does that? I'm telling you, he's the only one. Is that the one against Bryant, or oh, the Cubs? Yeah, you made that yeah. against the Cubs, right? Yeah, well, that was, uh, I kind of want to say that's half luck. I mean, that, that, <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, I was just roaming to the side, and luckily I was able to get it. You know, Chris can run really well. So I knew I had to be quick with it. I probably should let Story go for it, but uh, <laughs> I guess I just wanted to make the play. But, you know, those are plays I try to work on, and those aren't easy. So luckily enough, I was able to have success in that game and be able to get the, get the out. Uh -huh. Now, how about another one that you, that you touched on where, I mean, you're, you dive, and now you're going to throw from your thigh or your <laughs> knee or your butt. And it swung on and bounced on one hop off the glove of Arnado. From his knees, throws to first and got him. Oh, what a play. That was remarkable by Nolan. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean I've, I've done some crazy plays last year. Uh, I remember in San Fran, obviously, throwing off my butt. Um, but, uh, you know, first of all, it was a terrible dive, um, and I missed the <laughs> ball. So, you know, if I don't miss that ball, I'd probably get up and make an easy throw. But it was a terrible dive. Luckily, I was able to bare hand, and I just spin and just threw it. You know, Mark Reynolds can really pick it over there, and uh, I knew if I just get in that vicinity, I, can, I know that he's going to be able to pick me up. But you've got to have incredible, not just agility, but yeah. arm strength to be able to put something on that throw from your butt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, know, it, you know, I work on, uh, you know, that's why you got to work on your arm. There's a little thing. It's all process to, you know, there's games is that, you know, you play long toss, you keep your arm strong. I, throw, I always play catch and make sure I throw from different angles just to keep my arm, I guess, aware of what, what could be happening. On the ground to third, diving stop to his feet. Aaron Nye's got his man. He's putting on a show tonight, Nolan Arenado. One more that is like a favorite of mine. I bet if people were, if you're going to ask people, what's your favorite Nolan Arenado play, it'd be the Gregor Blanco ball yeah. in San Francisco, the tarp play. Yes. Oh, oh my goodness, oh. did he catch that? He caught that. You got to be oh. kidding me to get the, oh, they almost got a double play. What an oh. unbelievable catch, and Arenado's okay. You know what, and he's even getting some standing ovations from the Giants fans. That you was be remarkable. Yeah, I mean, uh, just a foul ball. I mean, uh, we played in San Fran many times, and we know the ball comes back. And uh, luckily enough, I, I saw it coming back because I know the wind, the wind plays there. And uh, I knew I had a chance for it. Um, and, you know, I just ran into the... <laughs> Ran into the, the stands and uh, and uh, the tarp, and obviously it was turned out to be a great play. I you know I was a little sore the next couple of days, but uh, luckily I was able to get the out. But uh, yeah, I mean it was just knowing uh, knowing my surroundings, I guess in a way. You know I've been down that line before. We played there so many times, and like I said, I know the wind's coming back. So yeah, I mean you left out the part where you pivoted on top of the tarp and <laughs> threw to third. Yeah, yeah, that was like I said. I think that was another blackout play where I just didn't think and I just let it happen. But uh, you know it's funny. The only reason why I knew the wind. Well, the ball was going to come back because I popped up many times where I thought it was going to go foul, and it came back. So that's how, kind of how I knew. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you've been the wrong end I've of been on the wrong place. end of those yeah. plays, for sure. You know, I always think of defense as a mindset. And I, I wonder how you would describe your mindset. Like, fearless comes to mind for me. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, I fearless is, I, like, I don't know if I would describe myself that. I appreciate that description. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I... You know, like I said, I, I just let my instincts take over. I work on these plays for a reason, and that's because I want my, my mind to be clear, so when it happens, I just go do it. You know, so there's times where I don't have success at it, but, you know, I, I feel good about it, and I don't have any regrets of trying to make these plays because I know that I feel like I have a good chance of doing it. You know, I have a lot of confidence in my, inf my fielding, and uh, that's the way you got to be in anything, in hitting and any sport. If you're confident in what you can do, you know, good things can happen. Right. Well, if you, you know, if you're practicing crazy plays when you're, like, five years old, yeah. I mean, you obviously... You were setting the bar high at a really young age for yourself yeah. to, to, to try to achieve greatness. Would yeah. that be accurate? Yeah, you know, I, I, like I want to be the best, you know, and, uh, you know, I think uh, it, it all starts with the process. You know, uh, Todd Helen used to say that all the time. It's all about the process. Don't worry about the result. It's all about the process. And, uh, you know, that it's the truth. You know, you hear it all the time, but I think some people just don't take it to heart. And uh, I've been trying to take it to heart, and I feel like good things are happening. We kind of take it a little serious, and uh, there's some arguments, and there's been some fights in the past because of it, but uh, I don't want to lose because you're going to hear about it, and I don't, <laughs> yeah. don't want to hear about it. So. Batting sixth, the third baseman from the Colorado Rockies, Nolan Arenado. He's special. He's got the arm. He's got the love. He can hit. Take a good look. You will see it for long. 
the way he plays defense, the way that he's out there and trying to take hits away. He's trying to, he's, he's preventing runs being put up on the board. And I'm definitely a fan and I enjoy watching him play. What a play by Arenado. Luckily they're in the National League and we, we've only, I've only played against him a few times and kind of start thinking about, it. I better hit the ball away from this guy, find some grass to get a hit. And he, he's, he's not letting anything get by. On the ground to third, diving stop to his feet. Aaron has got his man. I've hit it as hard as I can over there, and he just scoops it up like it's nothing. So I'm going to see if a bone works. That guy's an amazing player. He's putting on a show tonight, Nolan Arenado. Another example of how much you love the game is clearly you love wiffle ball. Yeah. Now, I, like, we're a big <laughs> wiffle ball family. Oh, yeah. And, my, and uh, right before spring training, yeah. you, your brother, and your cousin like you periscoped a live wiffle ball game, yeah. right? Yeah. For an hour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. How often do you do that? Well, we do it once a week. We, we, don't, we, don't, we don't make it live, but we play wiffle ball once a week. Uh, and, uh, you know, we just, it's the best, man. It's so much fun. <laughs> we play for hours until the sun goes down. We'll, we'll start at around 3, and the sun goes down around 6.30, and then we'll play like a seven-game series, five-game series. But, uh, yeah, we love it, man. We love it. Um, we play with all my cousins and my brothers, and, uh, we kind of take it a little serious, and uh, there's some arguments, and there's been some fights in the past, guys, of it. But uh, like I said, just we just love competing, and I get that competitive edge probably from my family and uh, my brothers and my cousins because uh, you know I don't want to lose because you're gonna hear about it, and I don't, <laughs> yeah. don't want to hear about it. So we should mention that your brother and your cousin are both professional baseball yeah. players too, right? So yeah, exactly. So they're they're extremely competitive, but you know I. I would like to say I'm probably the best football player in my family, so uh, of course you are. so I can't lose, and if I do, I know I'm going to hear about it. So I got to keep up with my game. Yeah, well, I mean, one, one of my fun things about watching it was that, like, just like us, you got you're in the street yeah. and you got to stop because cars are going down the yeah. street. Here comes yeah. the mailman. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's it, it, we've hit some cars before. We gotten yelled at a couple times. But, no uh, wait. Yeah, your I, neighbors are yelling at you. Well, I mean, they're not yelling, but they're probably not happy when we ding their car and then you come outside or something. But uh, you know what? We're just we're trying to we're just trying to play some wiffle ball. Sorry. <laughs> I hope you know how tremendous this is, right? Oh, you're Nolan sure. Arenado, <laughs> and you're playing wiffle ball with your family yeah. in the street. You yeah. could. You could play baseball anywhere. You could practice baseball anywhere. Anybody yeah. would open up their facility for you. <laughs> You're playing wiffle ball in the street. Yeah, I mean, that's just, that's how we grew up, and that's like our game, you know? Yeah. It's, it, you just can't really uh, get away from it, you know? It's just what we, it's what we do, and uh, it's, uh, I guess it's, uh, it's, it's what makes me comfortable. It's my, comfortable <laughs> it's my comfortability is being there with those guys and playing out there. Well, it, it, it's great, man. Thank and you. I, I don't want to just talk about your defense because we're sitting here with a two-time home run champ, right? <laughs> Nolan drives this ball to deep center field. Take a good look. You won't see this one for long. Two-run jack dead center, Nolan Arenado. Now, got a little trivia question for you. Yeah. <clears throat> Five gold gloves, two home run titles. How many other active players can say that? Um, active players? Yeah. I'm not sure. That answer is none. It's oh, really? just you. Oh, wow. Okay, That's how pretty cool. How about this? That's all. Five gold gloves or more, two home run titles. How many third basemen in history you think can say that? I'm thinking maybe Mike Schmidt? It's you and Mike Schmidt. All right, yeah. I yeah. mean, I know he's the GOAT, so <laughs> I figured he'd be Yeah, he is. Yeah. Um, and, no, I mean, no players had done this since Barry Bonds and Ken Griffey. Yeah. And now you. That's um, pretty cool. I you, appreciate you telling me that. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, I mean, it, it tells it tells us what a complete player that you are. Thank you. And as we we're taping this, you're 26 years old, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. when you when you look at what you would like to be versus what you already are, what would that be? You know, I I just want to be complete and just continue to stay uh, consistent. Um, that's kind of all I really think about. I mean, obviously, there's ways I can get better. You know, I could drive the ball the other way better. Um, I can stay more consistent at the play, you know, cut down on strikeouts. But uh, at the same time, you know, consistency is the name of the game here. You know, the best players in the game, I feel like, are consistent. Um, the Trouts, the Vados, the Altuves, um, the Goldschmidts, Buster, Posey, uh, you know, those guys are consistent. And uh, I feel like that's why they're going to go down to some of the greatest players ever play this game is because as consistent as they are, you know, they, they're, always, they're always doing it every day. And uh, actually, my main goal is honestly to be out there play over 150 games a year. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it's not easy to do, and uh, that's kind of my focus. And uh, if I could play as many games as I can, I feel like good things will happen.
well, I mean, that's the other thing you've been able to stay on the field. But yeah. it, it's, I think it's time for the mandatory Coors Field question. This ball's crushed to deep left field, way back, and gone. How difficult is it to achieve consistency when you play at, at Coors and then obviously spend the, the other half of the season playing at very different places and very different altitude? And it is going to get on out of here. A home run for Nolan. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not easy. Um, adjust, there is an adjustment. That is the truth. Uh, there is an adjustment going on the road. It breaks a lot harder. And, uh, but, you know, it comes with the territory. It is what it is, you know. Um, I, it takes a few days to get kind of get it adjusted in a way. But, uh, you know what, it, it, you know, it is what it is. I, I don't have any complaints. You got you to gotta find a way. You know, there's no, nobody feels bad for us, you know. So <laughs> you got to find a way, and that's what we're doing. And, uh, you know, uh, Coors is a great place to play. Um, a lot of hits out there, big outfield. And, uh, you know, but, yeah, there's definitely an adjustment going on the road. Right. I'm, I'm sure it's a tiresome topic for all you guys. Um, where, I mean, all right, again, you're a two-time home run champ, and people who don't watch you every day will say, yeah, but he plays at Coors. They don't even know how many home runs you've hit in the road, yeah. and your home road splits are amazing. And this ball lifted to deep left center field, way back, and gone! And I guess that's, that's the debate for the other people. Uh, <laughs> I, I just try to you know, go out there and do the best I can and uh, find a way to continue to get better. And, uh, you know, look, you know, I had a good year on the road last year, I'm happy I improved there because that was a goal of mine. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's all I really think about is just continue to do it. And, uh, you know, I've had some, some success on the road, and uh, there's times where I've gotten beaten up, and it just, just, that's just baseball. You know, these pitchers are good, too. You know, I'm not going to make any excuses. You know, it, these pitchers are good. Way back, deep center field. Take a good look. You won't see it for long. Two-run bomb. You're at a point now where I mean, you've already done stuff that, as we mentioned, like no other active player has done at 26. So you have a chance to write your own script. So I'm going to give you that opportunity right now. <laughs> write a script for me for what you would see ahead for you. Um, I mean, my sc the script I would like to write is games in October, uh, more than one, um, than like last year. That'd be the goal is to play on primetime TV October baseball games. and. Uh, be able to help the team win and bring a championship to Denver. That's kind of the script I would like to write. Um, I don't know what's going to happen, um, but uh, that's that's what I would love to do is go out there and compete and uh, you know do what I love, but do it in the meaningful games in October. Yeah, well, it really it really be fun to watch you do your thing. Thank you. In those games <laughs> in October. It. It Thank would. you. So, listen, man, uh, keep getting dirty, but don't get <laughs> I bloody, okay? I will. I will. I appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate hey, it, man. Thank Noel Donato. Thank, Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.